Hello friends, welcome back to Arth Vimarsh. If you like the content of these videos, please subscribe to our channel and support us on social media platforms. In this video, we are going to summarize the chapter 6 of the book, that is Demand. Now based on the discussions which we had in the previous chapter, that is Optimal Choice, where we discussed that how a consumer, given his budget constraints, and the prices across the commodities chooses an optimal bundle. Now this chapter will be dealing with three key themes. First of all, we'll be talking about the impact of price and income changes on the consumer demand. And then we'll be distinguishing between different types of goods. That is the normal and inferior goods, ordinary and Griffin goods, substitutes and complements. And finally, we'll be talking about the inverse demand function. Now, continuing from our previous discussion, what we had discussed was that how to go about determining the optimal choice of a consumer, wherein we have discussed that the point where a consumer's indifference curve is going to be tangent to the budget line, that point was giving us what we call the optimal or the point of tangency of the slope of the indifference curve to that of a budget line like AB. So that was the condition for the optimality. But we also discussed the examples like that of the perfect substitutes and the complements where these conditions might not hold. Now, what we also understood was that the choices of a consumer, they depend on various factors. And it's not only the income and the prices because we have been discussing that budget line is a function of price times the amount of commodity consumed plus price of other commodity and the quantity of other commodity. This has been our general understanding with the budget constraint, right? But it can be n number of factors which determine the demand of a consumer. For simplicity, we are considering only prices and income as the variables which decide that how much of X1 or X2 a consumer is going to consume. The other factors can be your taste and preferences for the commodities, the different factors like uh, the features of a product for example you go to the market to buy an automobile or a mobile phone or any other commodity which you can think of which has close substitutes also available so you definitely look at n number of features for in those commodities before taking your decision to buy or demand those commodities so for simplicity we are considering only price and income so how to go about formally representing such demand so again this function was discussed in the previous chapter as well so formally the consumer demand for good x and y if x and y are the two commodities if y and x are the two commodities their demand function can be given as follows so for the demand of x it can be written as a function of price of x then the price of the other commodity and the income of an individual and likewise for commodity y it can be written as a function of its own price the price of the other commodity and the income now this notation basically helps us uh, in understanding a particular demand function now uh, a function can be constructed uh, with variables like taste and preferences or any other variable which you can think of so this is how we represent our demand function. So a consumer demand function which gives optimal choice of each good is represented as a function of price and income, right? So this has already been emphasized. Now, using these demand functions, what we are going to do is that we try to understand that how if there is an alteration in price or income gets reflected on the demand of a consumer so you as a consumer are going to demand right and this is a function of your prices and the income now price can be for price i means i can be one or two any of the commodity right so how it gets affected now this exercise which we are going to do that is understand the change in the price or change in income so this is called comparative statics now this you will be encountering in other themes of economics as well especially in the international trade where we talk about the offer curves uh, etc so there also you will be encountering uh, these 
concepts but yeah and more more importantly in the general equilibrium analysis or any equilibrium analysis we use comparative statics as a tool like earlier also we have been using so what we try to do here is that we try to understand that how the choice of a consumer it changes with the change in the economic environment which results in the change in the price and the income so we will be starting off with first of all understanding that what happens to the demand if income is going to change and then we shift our focus to the impact of the change in the price variable so let's begin